All right, today I'll be doing some unboxing. Nice lures all the way from Wisconsin. You'll be blown out of your minds with these new innovative lures. I mean, you guys already seen the thumbnail. So with that said, let's just take out these lures and take a look how it looks like in person. Take a look at these jigs. This is their locking swim jig. And this is their locking structured jig. This is at a half ounce and this is at three eighth ounce. What is unique about these jigs is that I have not seen this style of weed guard that is currently sporting on this jig head. Look at it. Holy smokes. They are made of stainless steel, so it's very strong and it's corrosive resistance. Now, the traditional jig heads, they use these fiber bristles. And in order for you to customize the strength of those weed guards, you could bend them, you could trim them in various shapes. But once you do that, you can't really go back to original form. So if you take a little closer to this locking mechanism here, you see that there is two prongs that is inserted into the jig head itself. One is above the other. Okay, that is what is creating the tension. But if you want to remove this, you can actually remove this. Watch this, just pull that out just like that and pull out just like that. And there you go. This is their locking mechanism right here. See that? Now, if you want to make this jig with a stronger tension for their weed guard, all you have to do is expand this, just pull it out, right? So as, as you uh, actually stretch this out and it has more distance, that means this spring action right here is gonna be a lot stronger. And then when you put it back in here, it's gonna be Definitely a lot stronger. What I like to do is I like to put this uh, thing back underneath here first, right? The, the lower one, make sure it's aligned properly and stretch this whole thing out and put it right back in together. Look at that. Very easy to assemble, customize on the fly. Unlike the traditional style where it's bristle because now you could change it the way you want it. Now this is a swim jig. I think, um, I think the, the tension might be okay. Definitely okay. Now let's take a look at this locking structure one. Okay. Yeah, this, this, this one right here should be okay for the stuff I fish in Jersey. But if I'm fishing with those heavy trees and stuff like that, a lot of timber, I definitely want to make it a little stronger. So this hook here is a Mustad. I believe it's the Mustad Extra Heavy Hook. And should be super duper sharp. Let's do a quick test. Look at that. Scratch my pretty nails. And then let's take a look at the shank. Here's the bait holder. This, uh, this sports a very hefty bait holder right there. Nice and sharp. It should be able to penetrate to the soft plastic that you'll be using. And then it should be holding it really well because man, I'm, I don't know if you can see from this angle, but right here, it, it's, it does have a, like a nice flat end and it's kind of wide. So it, this, uh, this jig collar right here is definitely going to hold any soft plastics now for this jig head the lock swim jig head that is this is a 3 8 ounce and if you look closely this one right here they just put on a pre-made skirt so if you guys ever want to change skirt you need to replace skirt you know you know it could be easily replaced removed and replaced now let's compare it to the lock and structure jig head this is at half ounce you notice right off the bat that it is not one of those uh, pre-made skirts like that one right there. It's actually tied on with some wires, so it's definitely heavy duty materials. And right out the bag, I would say this is quality because some jig heads that I've purchased in the past, you know, it's not the colors are not in the right location. Like for this, right? You can spin it around you want, and I'm just gonna spin it just, just for the heck of it. Like you, you'll see, the chartreuse on top. I read you, you got to have the gray on top, the dark, dark side on top. Okay. So anyway, yeah, these these are very impressive. What do you guys think, huh? One more thing I noticed on his jig head here. You see this uh, it's flat in the bottom here, no eyes, but the swim jig does have eyes. Some 3D eyes. I believe it's 3D. 
And let's put the two jigs together side by side. Again, this is a swim style. You can see that the, the structure version is a lot wider. I guess it'll help in fishing and structure allow you punch through a lot easier. And also probably, most likely, this head right here should be able to skip under docks. Especially if you have the right plastic, it should skip, to, uh, skip on top of the water surface very easily. Man, very exciting lures here. I have to commend Geotech for making these awesome looking jigs. Many people these days, they are going out there and, you know, they're making a lot of fishing lures. Kudos to everyone because, you know, heck, I would love to make my own lures and sell them. But the thing is, a lot of people, they're making this, kind of the same thing all over the place. You know, they get those do-it-yourself modes and they just put their favorite hooks on, put their favorite paint on, favorite skirt on and then they sell it and say it's customized. You know, sure, it's customized, but this right here, my friends, this is unique. This is innovative. They say that if you really want to stand out, you need to make something that stand out and doesn't, you know, follow what other people are doing. Like I said, everyone out there is kind of making similar jigs. These guys are definitely going to stand out because this is totally unique. Very unique. Make sure you guys check out the website. I left their website in the description below and also their social media handles. And if you guys want to see me fish this lure soon, make sure you guys follow me, hit the subscribe button, and also make sure the bell notification is turned on so that you guys could get notifications when I do catch some fish with this. I am definitely using this because it is jig fishing season. Probably using this one first, bouncing on the bottom with a crawl. What's your favorite crawl? Leave me a comment below.